Good morning. I'm, I'm Paul Cutler. And I'm Josh LeCroy. Uh, we're with a um, online uh, website called uh, Buffalo Trading Post. Uh, we uh, started that uh, earlier this year. And um, one of the things that uh, gained our interest was a process called biochar. And uh, that's what brings us here to the farm um, and has gotten us uh, with this organization here, Revive the Roots. Um, so what we would like to do is uh, kind of explain the process, show you how the biochar bio, uh, process works, and um, you know the uh, purpose of why we, we would want a biochar. Okay? What can you charcoal? Does it have to be wood? No, you can biomass anything that's a natural product. So the grass you're standing on, the trees that are over there, the leaves that fall from the trees. Hey, cardboard, uh, twigs, brush, food, uh, broken down food, cobs, uh, corn stalk, tomato peels, uh, potato peels, um, everything. Pretty much everything. So a anything biodegradable, no, you know, nothing bad like plastics or, or anything like that, glass, obviously. Um, it's amazing, to, to me, it's amazing how much, um, how much biomass that um, we as humans produce or just discard after we're done using them. And there's plenty of use for that biomass. Um, and this is just one process that um, we can take advantage of by breaking it down into the biochar. So what got you into it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's interesting is um, I was watching the Green Channel or something like that. And they were talking about uh, different things that we have to think about today that's going to sustain us further 20, 30 years from now. And they were going through all the different things that potentially could be useful, and they, they narrowed it down to this you know, one item that's going to be the, the, the most productive for us as citizens. And you know they did solar energy and wind energy and... Um, one of the things they reviewed was biochar. And uh, for whatever reason, it caught my heart watching that, um, watching that se section. And so I watched what it was, and then after I saw them uh, show it, I went and did some investigation um, and did some research on the internet. It's very simple, you just get online, type in biochar, and you're going to see all different types of videos of how to biochar. Obviously, we're going to do that process today. <clears throat> now, um, we have a lot of biomass. Uh, biomass is anything that is biodegradable. Um, wood, leaves, uh, fruits, vegetables. Um, you take a piece of wood like this, and you're able to turn it into biochar, you can see that this has been charred. We'll show you how the, how the process works. Um, but this was a piece of wood just like this, and you can see it's very fragile now, and it looks like it's all burnt. In reality, it's just biochar, and you can see the fine dust it turns into. And what you do is you take this biochar, you mix it in with compost, and uh, eventually, um, when you're doing your plantings, at, as they've done their garden here, you put this in with your um, soil, with the, with the plant, and what you do is you increase the production of the output of the plant. The plants will grow bigger, healthier, and the reason is um, what's in the biochar, what's in biomass, are nutrients. And we have a way of uh, containing those nutrients and uh, retaining them in the biochar. So when you mix it in with the soil, using a natural process of um, increasing our production of our garden, where uh, the larger manufacturers tend to use chemicals, uh, we're not using chemicals, we're using all natural products. Uh, the other thing that the biochar does is um, it, it, it's a good water absorber, 
So it absorbs the water as you're watering your plants and it preserves the water longer around your plants and your plant roots. So obviously that means less watering or it can survive longer without, without water. What's in the biochar that makes it so good for the soil and the plants? We're changing the process of how the CO2 is being released. Okay, So instead of it being released in the air, um, we're going to be sequestering it and putting it into the ground. And once it's in the ground, it's in there for thousands and thousands of years.